<laughs> so, Sabrina Strange here with Garden River slash Sault Ste. Marie Band Algoma. We have Geezer on drums and Darby Wigwas on guitar and vocals. Yes. And then we have Marty Chase on bass beside me. So, uh, first of all, I wanted to start out with, can you guys tell us a bit about what your influences are for your music? Uh, for influence for music, I'd say definitely I Hate God, a lot of the stoner rock stuff, uh, noise rock, uh, I don't know uh, Is there anything that you found influenced you when coming into this band? Doom, a lot of doom metal and stuff. Yeah. For sure. Sludge, sludge metal, I hate God. I hate God, for sure. Like, for me, yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, I especially got into, uh, like, doing Jimmy Bauer, like, beat back. You know, like, that 12th fret, like, ooh. You know, like, I'm very influenced by that band. The Melvins. I Melvins, for Nirvana. sure. Yeah. Kittens from Winnipeg. Nirvana. Nirvana. I actually, I just got into the, the stoner, metal, uh, sludge kind of stuff the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's the creative process to your songs, like how do you guys get it all together? Uh, a lot of it is just, uh, you know, we get together and jam and then uh, we'll improvise some stuff and find a riff we like and then work on it a bit from there. Uh, uh, do you go off riffs or vocals? What do you start uh, out with? Before? Usually riffs first. Yeah. Uh, our very first song though, we did have lyrics written first, I think. Yeah, it started out like a weird like poem kind of thing. But, but, <laughs> A lot of times riffs and then we'll record with a little audio recorder so we can listen to it back and see if there's any changes we want to make or anything. I see. So how did you all meet and what brought Algoma to be? Well, me and Darby have known each other since high school. Yeah. Uh, we played in some past bands back then. Uh, and we had met... Geezer? Through, I believe, through your sister mainly. I mean, was your friend with well, no, I used to watch the old band. That's true too. He used to come to our shows when he was. I was. Uh, I'm a lot younger than. Uh, how many years? Uh, like three or four years. Four. Ago, five years. Yeah, yeah, I was so actually going to ask you about your musical history. Um, what band are you referring to? Uh, our old band that we're referring to is Beef Mouth. Uh, yeah. It was back from about '99, 2000. Yeah. And I was uh, going by Boad back then. You were Boad. I was Modez back then. Yeah. So you were a fan, Geezer? Fan of them? That's how. It, yeah, they they were um, doing something really different from. There's a lot of skate punk at, the time. Uh, at that time, like so every band was like AFI or like uh, strung out and stuff like that. But um, these guys are doing something completely different. Yeah, back then it was a lot more of like a noise rock and not so much the sludge at the time. I, I thought it was like really unique. Uh, so yeah, and these guys like. When I came back, I was I was in Edmonton for a really long time. I came back and Darby asked me um, if, if I wanted to play drums and jam and try it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's, sure. that's definitely cool. So, what brought the name Algoma to be? Well, Algoma, we came across Is that, that name. Song? Yeah, because of your basement. <laughs> Um, yeah, we we just written our first song, uh, Fell Down a Well, and uh, we're just very proud of it, you know. And we're sitting in a room off to the side of a jam room, and there's these exposed uh, steel girders, right? Support beams. It's Support nice. beams, yeah. And uh, and they say, like, Algoma, and they sank right into it, you know. And what's heavier than a steel bar, you know? <laughs> so we named and yeah, and Algoma because we're as heavy as that steel. They were beams that were made at the steel plant here that used to be Algoma steel, so it had yeah. the Algoma stamped in the side. Yeah. And now that the steel plant's uh, a new owner and not Algoma steel anymore, we decided that we're going to use that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's and that's where the capital A's at the ends come from. Yeah. It's just little style choices. Uh, I was style curious things. about that. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I'd like to get to know just a little bit about how each of you got into music to, to get to this point, um, starting off with uh, you. Well, for me, it started back in my teens. Uh, um, a couple of friends of mine were uh, jamming in a little like the rock band, I guess, that they had. And uh, my one buddy was playing drums, and the other guy played guitar, and he had a bass kicking around. So he said, why don't you grab the bass and start playing? So that's kind of how I started playing bass. And then 
Luckily at my high school there was a guitar class you could take for an art credit, so I used that to learn a little bit more about uh, guitar and stuff like that and transferred it to the bass. That's kind of how I started playing bass. It's like, all of, like we all went to that high school. Yeah, we all went to Sir James Dunn when it was open. Um, what about you, Ezer? How, how did you get to this point? I, I started playing music when I was a young kid. I used to like uh, record on like cassettes. Ah, tape uh, players. Just like a, like a little recorder <laughs> in my grandmother's uh, spare bedroom. <laughs> and uh, singing or I, instruments or yeah, guitar mostly, and I would bang on like weird <laughs> shit, like, uh, hubcaps. I yeah. could find hubcaps and stuff. Uh, I, I didn't actually start playing in the band though until I went to high school and met, uh, you know, you know, some friends. Yeah. And that's when I started playing in a band. Was so, that, so what was the band that you started out with? Was it these we were, guys or these? Is this your no, no, no. These guys like we really looked up to these guys. Yeah. My band oh, okay. really looked up to these guys. Oh, they that's were, they were like. Older, yeah, because you guys, guys, we right? would have been like getting out of high school when you guys were getting into high school or whatever, yeah. so we were a little younger. Kind of. So that just leaves uh, Darby then, uh, a little bit about you. Uh, yeah, when I was at the Dunn, I, I didn't take the guitar class, just to clear that up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, I was in um, a couple of punk bands uh, growing up, and um, yeah, I didn't beat my mouth. And then uh, I kind of gave up on music for a bit and then came back with No Fight You. Yeah. We haven't played a show yet, but I uh, started playing drums with that band, hardcore drums. Yeah, and then. Uh, no, now you're here, now you're here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty well much music. Started in some band back in your teens. Yeah. Anal yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seepage. Anal Seepage way back when. Yeah. Anybody remember that band? I did. I remember the name. <laughs> yeah, good times. So I've looked into you guys a bit and I heard that you're recording an album. Can you confirm this? Yes, we are recording an album. It's all the, uh, everything's been confirmed. Consider, 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 consider. Yeah. Everything's been recorded. It's uh, getting mixed and mastered by a friend, Mark Rand, from an awesome band called Cross Dog. Uh, and I'm getting some artwork done from a friend of mine named Adam Dyer, a great artist. And uh, hopefully it will be out uh, in a reasonable time frame, I guess. Uh, I was hoping you'd say a date. A date? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to commit to stuff, so I don't really put dates. I don't know. Yeah. Once we get, uh, we've got most of the tracks kind of back, we've got to finish getting them mixed and mastered and get the yeah. artwork and layout. Sounding awesome. Get things done. Mm -hmm. Sound good. Like it's sounding really good, like compared to H4 recordings. Yeah. yeah. You know. Are you familiar with any of the bands in the area? Oh yeah, yeah. We're buddies with uh, the band Shit Liver. They're one of the grindcore band. They played our Taco Fest at Darby's place there in August. Yeah, they're awesome. The band Gawakwa, They uh, used our jam space all summer. Or our jam room. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, I don't ever call it jam space. But. Yeah, yeah. They uh, jammed at my place. It was really fun this summer. My summer of metal. Do you have anything exciting that you want to tell your fans for your next show on the uh, twelfth? Well, October twelfth. Uh, Come out, rock out, it'll be a fun time. We've got the Bear Hunters, Crimson Crusade, our buddies and Destroy that are going to be playing. And uh, hopefully we got like a new song to put out there, uh, play a new song there on the 12th. Yeah, that's going to be the big Looney Fest in Echo Bay. And I believe uh, there's actually a party bus that's coming in and going to be picking up people and taking them out there if they need it, right? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I've seen other people do it, you know, <laughs> so why not? Why not try it out? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, <laughs> there's going to be some pickups that are on the Facebook event page, so look at yeah. that. So, yeah. um, you can show. Yeah, they got some tickets at the Rad Zone, and you can get down there and buy some. Uh, t tickets at Gucci's? At Gucci's? Down, down the line. line. There you go, down yeah. the line, stop down in at Gucci's. You can always contact one of us and we'll deliver them. That's one thing about the show. I want there to be a big down the line presence. <laughs> Come on, down the liners. Yeah. Down the liners. Wow. So if tickets, uh, if somebody wants to buy a ticket, then they can get a hold of anybody in the band. 
Yes. Or go can, to one of the locations. It's, it's, yeah, if you go to the Facebook page, I'm sure you can figure your way up from there to contact us or just mention it there. We'll get you some tickets. Okay. Well, thank you guys for Thank you, and... Sabrina. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys have a good night, and I look forward to seeing you on the 12th. I'm going to be there. Have a great time. And That's the plan. That's the plan.